Hi, I'm Brad. I'm Will. Thanks for joining us on the seven, seventh day as we begin the Novena to St. Joseph's. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Joseph, you've devoted your time to Nazareth at the, as the work of a carpenter. It is the will of God that you and your foster son should spend days together in manual labor. What a beautiful example you set for the working class. It was especially for the poor who composed the greater part of mankind that Jesus came upon earth. For in the synagogue of Nazareth, he read the words of Isaiah and referred them to himself. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. It was God's will that you should be occupied with work common to poor people, that in this way Jesus himself might ennoble it by inheriting it for you, his foster father, and by freely embracing it. Thus, our Lord teaches us that for the humbler class of workmen, he has in store his richest graces, provided they live content in the place God's providence has assigned them, and remain poor in the spirit, he said. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The kind of work which you devote your time to in the workshop of Nazareth offered many occasions of practicing humility. You were privileged to see each day examples of humility which Jesus practiced, a virtue most pleasing to him. He chose his early surroundings, not the court of princes, nor the hall of the learned, but as a little workshop in Nazareth. Here you shared for many years the humble and hidden toiling of God-man. What a touching example for the worker of today. While your hands were occupied with manual work, your mind was turned to God in prayer. From the divine master who worked along with you, you learned to work in the presence of God in the spirit of prayer. For as he worked, he adored his father and recommended the welfare of the world to him. Jesus also instructed you in the wonderful truths of grace and virtue. For you were in close contact with him who said of himself, I am the way and the truth and the life. As you were working at your trade, you were reminded of the greatness and majesty of God as a most wise architect formed this vast universe with the wonderful skill and limitless power. The light of the divine faith that filled your mind did not grow dim when you saw Jesus working as a carpenter. You firmly believed that the saintly youth working beside you was truly God's own son. St. Joseph, I thank God for your privilege of being able to work side by side with Jesus in the carpenter's shop of Nazareth. As a token of your gratitude to God, obtain for me the grace to respect the dignity of labor and ever to be the content with the position of life, however lowly in which it may please divine providence to place me. Teach me to work for God and with God in the spirit of humility and prayer as you did. So I, am, I may offer my toil in union with the sacrifice of Jesus in the mass as reparation for his sins and gain rich merit for heaven. Saint Joseph, I, your unworthy child, greet you. You are the faithful protector and intercessor of all who love and venerate you. You know I have special confidence in you and that after Jesus and Mary, I place all my hope of salvation in you, for you are especially powerful with God and will never abandon your faithful servants. Therefore, I humbly invoke you and commend myself with all who are dear to me and all that belong to me, to your intercession, I beg of you, by your love for Jesus and Mary, not to abandon me during life and to assist me at the hour of my death. Glorious Saint Joseph, spouse of the Immaculate Virgin, obtain for me a pure, humble, charitable mind and perfect resignation to the divine will. Be my guide, my father, and my model through life, that I may merit to die as you did in the arms of Jesus and Mary. Loving Saint Joseph, faithful father of Jesus Christ, I raise my heart to you to implore your powerful intercession 
and obtaining from the divine heart of Jesus all the graces necessary for spiritual and temporal welfare, particularly the grace of a happy death and the special grace I now implore. Please mention your request in your heart. Guardian of the world incarnate, I feel confident that your prayers on my behalf will graciously be heard before the throne of God. Amen. Remember, most pure spouse of Mary, ever virgin, my loving protector, Saint Joseph, that no one ever had recourse to your protection or asked for your aid without obtaining relief. Confiding, therefore, in your goodness, I come before you and humbly implore you, despise my petitions, foster father of the Redeemer, but graciously receive them. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, Son the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thanks so much for praying with us. Have a great day.